like me and you have all of these different Bible study papers that are a mess and you need somewhere to put them, well, I'm going to solve my problem today and I'm going to solve your problem today because I designed the ultimate Bible study notebook and we're going to put it together today so that I can organize all of my Bible study stuff and hopefully it will work for you too. And all you need is stuff that you can buy at Walmart or Dollar Tree, especially right now at back to school time. We're gonna get it all organized, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. Hello, beautiful. I am Nikki Drake, founder of Crazy Simple Truth Ministries. And hey, here I give you super simple, crazy simple Bible study tips to get into God's truth, God's word, so God's truth can get into you. Sounds good to you? You're going to want to consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get right into this. I went through the book of Luke, and so I have um, my scripture journal with my book of Luke, and now we're going through the book of Acts, and so I have my scripture journal with my Acts, but in Acts, we have all these crazy cool notes and questions and things that I want to make sure that I keep and so I needed somewhere to put them. It was, the pile was starting to get excessive and we're only on week three. And so I designed a Bible study notebook and it is seriously going to be the ultimate Bible study notebook. It's going to hold everything I need. Well, I'm going to put it together today and I thought maybe you would like to do it with me so you could see what it's all about. Okay, friends, I bought a few things from Walmart here at back to school time. And so um, they're not things that you have to have, but you will need some sort of notebook. And I designed these so you could put them in a eight and a half by 11 or some of my friends in my current Bible study on Patreon, some of my friends there use um, the disc system or they use the smaller like A5 system. And so I designed these so that you could shrink them down on your printer to what size you need. But I use this, I like this, this is what I wanna organize everything in. And so I bought this at Walmart today, very inexpensive. And what I did here is I designed all these different color covers so you get to choose which one you want because not everybody likes the things that I like. And so they're all pretty similar. Let me go through them all. So we've got this one first, and this might be the one that I use, but the scripture that I put on it is, I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. There were two that I designed that I would like. Um, I like this one a lot, but I kind of wanted to go with a different color scheme. For those of you that like purple, this one's great. This one's a more of kind of a muted or neutral one. Um, this one is kind of a really cool like periwinkle type blue, which I think is cool. You've got this one that's kind of a light blue. She's kind of reading outside, which is fun. And then this girl here really looks like she's getting serious. This is the one I designed originally. And then I thought, I kind of like this one. So I bought a kind of a melony pink colored book here. This is a pen and gear brand. Um, you can get this at Walmart right now. And um, so I'm gonna do this one, I think. I'm still debating if I want that one or this one. I'm a pink girl. I'm thinking I kind of like that. I'm thinking I kind of like that. So I bought a, a three hole punch because I didn't have one. Mine was broken and I haven't had one for quite some time. And so I've been like hand doing everything and it never ends up the way that it needs to. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. So look at this cool thing. All my stuff in my room, my room has aqua in it. And is this not fabulous? This is pen and gear too. I love this. So you can pick that up at Walmart too. So different options here. So I didn't actually print the other one, but the other one doesn't have the gray trim and it doesn't have the circle. So it just says Bible study notebook with this kind of melony pink color. That's all it is. So you could do one or the other. I like the dot. I use um, HP Insta ink, which I've got links for that um, in the video notes because it's a super good deal. I pay $4.99 a month and I get to print up to 100 of any like full color images I want, like the best printing quality you could do. I can print up to 100 of those and all I pay is $4.99 a month, which is amazing. So if you wanna check that out, there is a link below. This is not a sponsored video by anyone, by the way. This is totally me, but it's something that I love and I love that I can use as much ink as I want because of that program. So, um, I don't think I'm gonna add that to it. So I'll leave that out. Gosh, they're all so pretty, you hate to not use them. So then this one is going to be the reading log. And I'm gonna print, I'm gonna punch several here. I don't know how many I can do at once, but we'll see if I can do like four or five. Let's see how this works. 
Isn't it cute? And it wasn't even that expensive. It was like $4 or something. I'll try to link some similar things below because I know some of you don't like to get out or can't get out, especially right now. We have to wear a mask in our city like it's required no matter where you go. I know a lot of places you have to now, but like anywhere in the public in our city, you have to wear it. And so it's so hot and miserable. So in case you're, I do a lot of Amazon shopping, actually. We had to do grocery shopping today. Otherwise, I probably definitely would have ordered something off of Amazon and had it delivered. My oldest daughter is getting married in October, and so we've been ordering everything from Amazon. Just looking for the best price and ordering it up. Oh, I forgot. Oh, you guys, I totally forgot. I bought these. I was going to put them in these. I forgot. I can't believe I didn't do this. So I'm going to have to reprint those because now I have holes in them. But I was going to put, not the ones that you're going to ride on, but the ones that, um, you could do it either way. I meant to do it in this because so it would give it a little bit of durability. Um, if you have a laminator or something, that would be an excellent way to do this. I don't have one. And so you could put this in here. I don't know why I'm so shaky. Like that. Oh my, it does not want to go in. It's stubborn. Hold on, let me get it. And I'll show you. Okay. So this was what my intention was, actually, was to do this. And then when you print off the Bible tabs, you could stick them to this. So these are the Bible tabs. I actually already cut out one, and I was going to change them around, but I decided not to do it. So they are the way they are. I think they're cute. You've got a smaller one. If you're shrinking these down and putting them in a smaller notebook, then you've got a smaller tab, and then you've got the larger tab. So that is what those look like. And you could stick your tab to this, and it would just give you a little bit more durability when you turn the page. So that was the intention tension with that. I forgot that I was going to do that, so I'll have to reprint my um, ones, but see, I don't get upset about reprinting it because I printed them for virtually nothing. It seriously is like such a good deal. Plus, I think if you sign up with my link, you get like a free month, so that's cool too. You get to try it out. Let's see. We'll just keep sticking these in here. And I'll keep jabbering away. I really designed this and thought of everything. I asked some of the girls, my Grace girls, in my Bible study group, I asked them what kind of tabs that they need for Bible study. And so I took some of their ideas and some of the things that just that I know that I need. And I, um, I'm going to take this one out of here, honestly, and just punch them all. But that is definitely something you can do. And I may end up going back in and putting these in there. But for now, since I've already punched them all, I'm going to punch them all. Okay, now let me show you what I have. This is so exciting. I'm so excited about this. And don't you love my mild liners match it, which was kind of my motivation. I love color. I love color. It makes me happy. And I know not everybody likes the same color. Like, I'm not really a purple purple girl. Purple girl. But my friend Melissa loves a purple. My friend Ariel loves purple. So, But I'm not a purple girl. I'm a pink girl. So um, that's why I did them in all different rainbow colors and did the different covers for them. So here's what you've got. You've got your front dashboard thing, Bible study notebook. Then you go right into your Bible reading log, and you're going to have your monthly Bible reading plan. So you can write down what your plans are for your Bible reading, and you can make as many copies of these if you need to. Now, I know this feels a little large because I wanted it for those of you. There's so many of the, you that use a smaller planner size, and I wanted you to be able to shrink it down. I use my prayerful planner. I don't use um, anything that I would shrink it down and put it into. So this is going to be perfect for me to keep track of my current Bible study project. So here is your Bible reading log. So you can write down the book and the verses that you were planning on reading for the week and then mark them off. And you have several weeks there to be able to do that. And then I've got verse mapping because this is something that I have been teaching. I've been doing it for several years and I didn't know it. If you've watched that video where I taught it, um, I didn't know that's what I was doing. And so you may be doing it too. I will try to link that at the end of this, but it's definitely in my playlist under Bible study methods. Verse mapping is amazing. And I just designed a new sheet that I have not even released yet. By the time you watch this video, it will be released. It's free. Um, 
on my website and also um, you can get it on Patreon. So it's free there. Um, and I designed it and I will be putting that in here. But if you don't want to use that, obviously you can print it on white paper. But if you don't want to use that, you can um, use this. And so I created this to go with the orange. So you write your verse and then you can draw, actually this might be pretty handy, honestly. You can draw lines to the boxes and write your little notes with your mapping. So your mapping is just these lines and then write what you learned. So I made that little, little um, form in there for you to be able to do that. Here's the scripture writing. So I don't write a daily scripture. I've tried it several times and I just don't end up doing it. But a lot of you do. And so I wanted to make sure that I included this. So this is going to be your scripture writing plan. So if you have a plan, um, I know that you can get those on several different websites and blogs. You can get a, a plan. Um, if I were going to write a daily scripture, I would definitely be doing it from the book of Acts, from the study that I'm doing. So I would choose a verse from that and I would make a schedule for that if that's something that I was going to do. I would be more likely for me to write a daily verse map versus just writing the scripture. But I do think writing scripture is really good for you. I really do. So here's your scripture writing log and you're gonna write down what verse you wrote and you can mark it off. Um, you could put like the whole week's verses. Like let's say I was gonna read... Um, Let's just say I was going to read Acts um, 2, 8 through 19. So I would just write that for the whole week, and then I'd mark off the days that I wrote those verses. And then I just gave you some little spots here that you can write some extra things. This I love. This is grid paper. So for those of you that bullet journal, this is kind of the same concept. You can use this grid paper to write your scriptures on, and it gives you these nice straight lines. I just picked this up at Walmart, too. A little ruler that you can use. These art pens are amazing um, and they're all different sizes and you can use the ruler so that you can either draw a straight line or when you're writing you could write a straight line. So they have this special um, edge on them that's made to use with a metal ruler and I will try to link a similar ruler um, in the description box for you. This next one is the study schedule. If you are in a Bible study at church or you are in an online Bible study, a lot of you are one of my tip sisters or my creative faith crew or one of my grace girls. And there's links to all of those below. If you are in that with me, then we are going through the book of Acts. And so we have been going through the book of Acts and we have a specific schedule. So what I did was I printed off this for everyone and they have that. But I thought, you know, it's such a mess because everything is everywhere. And so they could punch that and put it in here. Or they could go ahead and rewrite down um, week by week what they wanted to write. And I, I like that idea. It's just so much more organized and easy to keep track of and easy to find. And so that's what this is for. If you are interested in going through any of those Bible studies um, with us, we're going to go through the entire New Testament. So far, we've went through Luke and Acts. It's going to take us a couple years, but it's so worth it because we're going so in depth and we have learned so much. So if that sounds good to you, then you're definitely going to want to check out the links below. Um, the next category is Bible study notes. So these are going to be, as you are going through your Bible study with your group, or if you're doing one where you're just listening to me, whatever it is, or someone else, um, your Bible study notes. So whatever your current Bible study is, this is a place where you can take notes. And once again, this is the grid paper, which makes it really fun for those of you that like to bullet journal and things like that, um, Bible study notes. The next one is your Bible study members. So my Grace Girls and I have all gotten to know each other. We have a once a week video call and we have gotten to really know each other really well. And so this is a place where I could write their names and their contact information, whether it's emails or phone numbers or whatever it is. Um, usually if you go to a Bible study at church, you have that information. And so this is a place where you can keep that organized. Next is prayers and praise, and that's just a place where you can keep track of your prayer requests and the date that it was answered. Now, please note that God answers all of our prayers. He just doesn't always answer them the way that we want to. So if he answered the prayer that way, the way that you wanted to, wanted him to, then you can track it here. And it's so fun to look back and see what he did. This I'm going to use for my Grace Girls, so and my Tip Sisters, and my Creative Faith Crew. So all of my girls on, t on Patreon, I'm going to use this when they need it and write these down um, 
I, I probably won't be able to write down everyone because I have so many girls over there, but I definitely will write down the ones that are ongoing, things that are a big long-term concern. I'm going to write down and keep track of it because it's such a great way to see what God has done in your Bible study group. This is future Bible study ideas. So this is going to be ideas that I kind of have this like scrap of paper because we are going to go through the whole New Testament. Um, I have a scrap of paper kind of thinking about which books I want to do next. And so this is where I could write this. So that's kind of what that is for you. Um, Bible study tips. So this is any video you watched, maybe of a Crazy Simple Truth, or uh, there's so many good YouTubers, and um, there are blogs and books you can read about Bible study, and so this is somewhere you can track that. So where I heard it, and key ideas to remember. So there's a sheet, and I would print it on both sides so that you could use up your paper and not waste your paper with all of these, honestly. Um, this is past Bible studies. So this is where I'm gonna take the notes of the past Bible studies that I've done. Somewhere in here I have the Luke notes. I'm not sure where they're at. That's see, it's a mess, that's why. And um, I'm going to write down what I've done. Who was the leader, the date that I did it, just to keep track of it, make it better organized so I don't have everything all over my desk trying to locate it all the time. This is just a random sheet for notes. This is just somewhere that you can write anything. Anything that's on your mind, brain dump it out and just get rid of it right there. So that's what that's for. Now I bought a notebook that I could put in this also. Um, I don't know if I will actually put it in here. Does it even fit? I don't know if it'll fit. It might have to go in like a smaller, yeah, it has to go in, or a bigger, one of the bigger rings. But I bought it because it matched it and so I thought it was cute. So you don't need that. I just thought it was cute and I love notebooks so you can't have too many. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. Now, there are tabs. Let me find the tabs. Tabs are awesome. Um, they're gonna look like this. So there's a whole sheet of them, but I've kind of messed around with them, so that kind of, that, that side's kind of a mess. But here they, here they are. This is what they're going to look like. You can use the smaller ones or the larger ones, depending on what size of a book you're making. So for mine, I probably will use the larger ones. Um, there's 12 sections, so I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 sections. So I may end up using the smaller ones. I'm not sure. I'm hoping to put them on the top because this is where you grab the book. But... If you don't put them in a sleeve, your page won't stick out quite so much, and so it's easy for you to put it right there. So you have to customize it to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments. And hey, um, you can pick this up in my Etsy print shop. There's a link below, or you can get it for free if you are one of my Creative Faith Sisters or above. So I hope that this is gonna be a huge blessing to you, that this is gonna help you organize your things by the way, just so you know, I don't charge for my Bible study worksheets that I make. They are always free on my website, and there's a link below where you can find those. Um, this will be there too, the verse map um, also, and so you will want to look for that so that you can get a more in-depth verse mapping. But if you're like good at verse mapping and you know how to do it, this verse map that I made should be really helpful for you and very simple, a nice way to be able to write it out. So this is so awesome. I'm so excited. You are beautiful. God loves you. I'll see you later. Bye.